Hi there, this is Christy Butson from TinkerWithInk.com. I just wanted to show you real quickly what I've been working on today. Um, we got these cute little 5x5 art journals from Stampin' Up! at the Milwaukee Regionals. And they are creativity journals. We got a whole list of challenges that we could do to fill our journals, which is kind of fun. And you can see I haven't done too much, but I wanted to show you what I did start with because it's something I've been thinking about for a while. One of my sons got um, some catching bug gear for his birthday, and this is the instruction booklet that came with it. And I thought that was just so fun and that I could use that on something. So one of the first pages I've done in my creativity journal is... A little pop-out page. Now I use the Retired Love Letters DSP on this because I had it and it's got perfect lines. There are a few DSPs that are in the current IBC that would work perfectly for this too or you could choose to stamp in there instead of writing but these pages are really easy to make so I thought I'd share. Um, I started out with a piece of DSP that is four times bigger than the page I'm filling it with. So this is a five inch page. So I started with DSP that is 10 by 10. And you score it down the center, whatever size cardstock you're, or DSP you're starting with, you just score it down the center. And then with the new um, Simply Score diagonal tool, you can easily turn it and score the diagonals. And then you just put a little straight notch after you do the diagonals. Just choose a measurement and go straight down to your diagonal score line on every corner. Then you can easily fold this up. You start with the center. Let's see, I have one that's not attached. You start with the center and fold that mountain fold, then you do your two diagonals valley fold, and then go back through and pop up your four corners with a mountain fold again. And that will close up really nicely and pop up for your little explosion page. Now, you'll notice that mine don't overlap in the center with my measurements. The example that I was working from, they do overlap. So overlapping is okay. You just, whatever starting point you're starting from, and you get this fun, exploding page. So I hope you play with that a little as I have, um, and have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way. It's just be creative. So I hope you enjoy, and pop back over to TinkerWithInk.com for more paper crafting inspiration. Thank you.